Throughout Syria's civil war, journalist Humam Husari has shown us the very worst of humanity. But as he arrived in Turkey, there was a moment which epitomized the very best. His parents haven't seen him for five long years. A mother who thought she might never kiss her son again. And this is why Uman put himself at the very heart of Syria's civil war. He showed us the claustrophobic terror of families being shelled whilst cowering in tunnels. For four years, Hubam Husari has brought us remarkable footage of ordinary Syrians simply trying to stay alive. And he has highlighted the searing individual stories of children like little Yusuf, who was badly burnt in an airstrike. Or Noor, a boy who lost both his legs to a cluster bomb. I am now on the roof of my building. My office is in the basement of this building. And it was from that bunker three floors underground that Humam sent us the first independent footage of a chemical weapons attack in Zamalka in 2013. But this spring, as the siege and suffering worsened, Humam had to go on the run to avoid the closing regime forces. So this is me, me. Finally, when a ceasefire deal was announced, he and his new wife, Henan, were able to leave Douma for the relative safety of Idlib. After three months of my marriage, now I'm having my honeymoon with my wife in Idlib. But it was short-lived. Amid increasing airstrikes there, Humam realized he and Henan had to get out to Turkey. We had no option but to leave our country. And there, their thoughts are still with those they left behind. I'm really very relieved that uh, we are safe finally uh, but I'm still always thinking about a lot of people that I've met I feel lucky but in the same time I feel like um, what about them for whom am this is the reason he had to leave Syria a family reunited from a country which has disintegrated with such human cost Dan Rivers news at 10 Istanbul